first thing I'd like to say is I'm the luckiest plus man on the planet. Eight years ago, I was playing Xbox like any other day, and I found somebody super funny and interesting. There are a billion people in this world, and in that party, I found you. David, you've been my best friend for so long, through thick and thin. I've always felt safe around you and like I could be myself. I always remember thinking to myself, there's no need to worry about anything. I'm about making a fool about myself <laughs> because we were so close mm -hmm. and you had hard friends on me. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Katie, David, this day is made possible not only because of your love for each other, but also through the grace and support of your family and friends. I've known David for 13 years. I cannot think of a nicer, kinder person that I could possibly have standing up here right now. Me and him have always had a relationship where we kind of cover for each other, you know. I'm bad at talking to people, so he'll go up and talk to people for me and then ask me to give a speech at his wedding in front of 100 people. <laughs> so. Katie and I have been friends since the second grade. I think that beats your 13 years, maybe. <laughs> yeah. The first day I met her, she was wearing pink cowboy boots, and I thought to myself, that's gonna be my best friend. I have an immense amount of gratitude toward David. He is the ride or die friend. Probably one of the most dependable people that I know. He was there for me when I was at the lowest point that I've ever been. And you better know this by now, because I tell you all the time, that I would not be the person I am today without your influence. I've known Katie for a really long time. She is someone that I was able to instantly click with, and she honestly is just the type of friend that makes you feel comfortable. Not feel very judged for, you know, whatever's going on in your life. You know, someone who I could trust and lean on, who is there for you. Okay, she just said that she judges me, so I take that back. <laughs> David and Katie, do you, with your family and friends as your witness, present yourself willingly and of your, own, of your own accord to be joined in Mary. We do. Will you promise to take care of each other in joys and sorrows of life, come what may, to share the responsibility for growth and enrichment in your lives together? We will. I always thought, how, how can anything be so flawless that is perfect? You, the most incredible person, would be the future love of my life. You flip my entire world upside down without a shadow of a doubt. You are perfect. You're beautiful, smart, <laughs> kind, talented, <laughs> determined, loving, and honestly, I can go on and on, but that list would be longer than the rough draft for your vows. <laughs> it took a long time for us to get here, but I wouldn't trade any of it for anything else. The first time we met, everything felt surreal, like I was in a dream. Mm -hmm. I can never remember all the little things, like you laughing at chocolate on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time I held your hand, which was just a sorry excuse for you to help me across the <laughs> walk. <laughs> <laughs> and the look in your eyes when we sat on the bench together. Mm -hmm. One of the things I absolutely love about our relationship is our little competition about who did what first. <laughs> now, I must remind you, I said I like you first. I said I love you first, and I'll be the first to say I do. <laughs> I was yeah, the one who asked you out. <laughs> cheated about it. You asked me before I could ask you. I finally, probably for the first time in my life, have some dreams. I promise always be encouraging and to push you to achieve your hopes and dreams. When you're at your best or your worst, I will always take care of you. On the nights when you're vibing or being a little spooky villain, <laughs> I'll be at your side, and I will love you to the end of time. I promise you that I will try my best to not injure myself every day while cooking for us, to be the rock that you've always been for me, and most importantly, to always love you and show you that love. You always talk about how lucky you are, but from the moment I met you, the moment we started dating, and especially today, I'm the luckiest woman in the world. <laughs> and that's because I get to be your wife. I love you, and let's continue to grow together and recap it together. <laughs> I love you, Katie. I love you. You didn't let me get through mine. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> <laughs>
it can really be difficult to find someone to be fit for such a beautiful person um, because, you know, God knows she deserves the sun and the stars. And I think that with David, they really go together so well, like, like cookies and cream, bread and butter, you know. He's not my friend. This is my brother sitting right here. And I can say this to him right now that you couldn't have been a man that I could be more proud of right now. I am so proud of you seeing you grow up from 13-year-old David to 23-year-old David. And I want you guys to know that if you ever need anything, you have family right here just to call away. I like to think that all of that bad luck was to make for the incredible, incredible turn of fate that was Katie meeting David. And I was so, so happy when Katie got stationed in the Northeast. But when she told me she started dating a guy named David, I was like, who's this guy stealing my best friend? Like, David, I don't know if you knew, but we were gonna get married for tax benefits. I know everybody knows David as the luckiest person in the world, and now we know Katie's the most unlucky person in the world. But today, I'm sorry, David, Katie takes that title. She is officially the luckiest person in the world because she gets to marry you. I have seen how much he'll go through for you, what he'll say for you, what he'll do for you, the lengths he'll go for you. There is not a single doubt in my mind that he wouldn't rather be anywhere else than where he's sitting right now. And after I met you and after I got to know you, I knew that there was absolutely nobody better to be sitting there next to him. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I mean that genuinely. I wish them nothing but happiness, puppies and rainbows for the rest of their lives. I've never seen Katie so happy in love and comfortable in someone. And it makes me so happy to know that she's finally getting all the love and happiness she's always deserved because Katie is the most pure person I've ever met. I'm endlessly thankful to David for being who he is. And really, David is, is the perfect foil for Katie, reflecting the best parts of herself and himself. I think the one thing we have in common is that I love you so much. And no matter how far away, you are the blonde to my brunette and the Killua to my gong. But I can't imagine someone more perfect for my best friend. I mean, he is kind of Sebastian from Stardew Valley, you know? Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. David and Caitlin Warbeck. Okay.